I have a dream. We all know this famous speech by Martin Luther King, his I had a dream speech. Well, today, in this video, we're going to talk about leaders and their dreams and how important it can be. I have always been a big dreamer. When I was a kid, I was dreaming all the time. I would go into my dream world and come up with great ideas. I still do that to this day. But one thing it never hit me was leaderships or leadership and their dreams. Leaders and their dreams. What is that all about? And leaders really need dreams. Well, it hit me that it is very important. And a lot of times, leaders have it all wrong when it comes to their dreams. And I'll explain that in a second. But let's look at some of the famous leaders and their awesome dreams that they did. Okay, let's go first to who I talked about at the beginning of this video, Martin Luther King, in his I Had a Dream speech. What was his speech all about? It was all about equal rights and giving everybody equal rights here in America. It drove his movement to change things. Let's talk another about another person. This Gandhi. What was his dream? What was Gandhi trying to do? He was trying to free India from Great Britain. And he did that. And he did a great job at doing that. Another leader was former President Ronald Reagan. He really did a lot during his presidency. So what was his dream? His dream, he wanted to end the Cold War. And he did that. I remember watching him on the TV as that wall came down in Germany. So what was the common thing about these dreams? Now this hit me while I was coming up with this video and now as I was working at it, that there was something special about each one of their dreams. And a lot of leaders have it all wrong. And a lot of people, entrepreneurs, starting out businesses, doing whatever, they always think of dreams as, I want to one day be wealthy. There's nothing wrong with that. I want more money too, I'll be honest with you. Or I want, I have a friend that does this, I want an empire. Okay, that's another dream. So we think in this world of my dream, what are my dreams? Rather than like these three leaders, what did they think about? They thought about the dreams of others to change things. And their dreams were all about other people. It wasn't about them. It wasn't about Reagan going up there saying, well, I dreamt I want to be president. Or Gandhi going, well, I dreamt that I was going to be a leader in India. And be famous one day. No, that's not what it was about. Their dreams was about others. And to, to grab this concept, even for me, it was like, wow, this is huge. Huge concept. We do not think this way. In today's society, oh, because we're in that mean society. Okay, because of this video, I sort of said, okay, then how do I now look at and bring out my message about dreams? Because I didn't want to be stuck in that same realm with everybody else. I got my journal. Don't move your hand, grab it. You should, if you don't write in a journal, that's a good idea. I'm very bad about writing in myself. This one's falling apart a little bit. I get these ones that have uh, staples, so I sort of like them. And I wrote down, I have a dream. Help others to get more wisdom through learning and education. To reach, help others to reach an enlightenment, a place of enlightenment. So this is what I wrote down. I'm going to fine tune that. 
But I suggest you do the same thing. If you want to be a great leader and you want to stand out, I suggest look at that dream different. And it's not all about you. Write it thinking about helping others. And I'm going to work on mine so I can get it down better that I just came up with it this morning. So this is John Harrow about leadership and dreams. Don't forget, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm adding a membership area to my website for special VIP people. But don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and or register for my blog, video blog. Thank you.